friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. It's fall and everybody is back to school, so this is the perfect time for all of your dark academia vibes, and even better, make them queer. In today's video, I'm going to be recommending to you 11 dark academia books with central queer characters or themes. <laughs> I'm going to preface this by saying people can get a little nitpicky about their dark academia definitions, and the books that I'm recommending today kind of run the gamut of things that are truly dark academia or dark academia adjacent, but all of them have school-based settings, central queer characters or themes, and some kind of a dark element to them, and I think kind of fit the vibe that we're going for. My first recommendation is one that has a sequel coming out very soon, which I'm excited for. This is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This took TikTok by storm, ended up getting traditionally published, and got a beautiful new edited version. I really enjoyed this. This is definitely your dark academia, but with magic. It's got dark magical elements, it's got lots of queer characters, it's very in its head, which I enjoy, so we're getting a lot of thinking about morality, about the ethics of science and of magic, and I really loved it. I am so excited to see what happens in The Atlas Paradox, which is coming out really soon. So if you are wondering if you should hop on this bandwagon and you're looking for queer dark academia, you might try the Atlas Six. My next pick is a polarizing book. People kind of love or hate this. I fell in the love it camp, so I'm gonna recommend it. This is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. It is a slow burn sapphic gothic horror novel that has nested storytelling elements, and most of it is set around a girl's boarding school. So it definitely has those dark academia vibes. Part of it is set in the past, and I think if you are up for a super slow burn, creepy, but not super scary horror novel that centers women and centers sapphic women. And taking on the project of centering women who are not necessarily pretty, but instead plain, uh, I, I think this is maybe your book, so give it a try. Continuing with the polarizing books, I've got to recommend Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. This is another one that people love or hate, and I kind of get it. It's a strange book, it's slow paced, it's got this kind of dreamlike quality to it almost, but I think it's brilliant. I love what it's doing, I love the writing, and it definitely is giving you gothic, dark academia. Our main character is bisexual, so you've got queer elements to this as well, which I don't think a lot of people are talking about. If those things are up your alley, give it a try. It is weird, but it's great. Then for one that honestly is more dark academia adjacent, but I love it and it is queer, so we're throwing it in here, is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Most of this book does not take place at a university setting, but it does start at a university with a gay graduate student and then gets more magical and dreamlike. This is a book that is, again, controversial, not everybody's cup of tea, people kind of love it or hate it. I adored it. Reading this reminded me a lot of what it felt like to play an RPG video game like Dragon Age. So if that sounds up your alley, a book that reads almost like the experience of playing that kind of a game, maybe try The Starless Sea. It's very lyrical. It's a book about stories and storytelling, and I really loved it. My next recommendation is Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. This is a southern gothic horror novel that's extremely queer. It's a book about toxic masculinity and homophobia in the American South, and it has a ghost story element to it. I really loved it. I think it has kind of a southern dark academia feel to it. Our main character is a graduate student, and while not all of the book is set at the university, it is a key element of the book, and it focuses a lot on the experience Experiences of marginalized people at universities in the American South. I loved it. I thought it was really creepy. As with honestly most of the books on this list, it's another polarizing one. Maybe that's just a thing with dark academia. I feel like dark academia gives you these stories that people love or hate. They have often unlikable characters, controversial plot lines, endings that people have mixed feelings about, and so they are very hit and miss, but I am generally a fan of a lot of them. And speaking of controversial, my next suggestion is a book that I didn't actually love very much, but it definitely fits this, and I know a lot of people do like it, so I want to suggest it for those of 
you who might be interested. That book is These Violent Delights by Micah Nemerever. So this is a dark academia book about two boys who started college early and they have this very intense toxic relationship with each other and also there's murder. It's an interesting one. I like what it was doing better than I think I liked the execution but I also know people who really loved it. Then for another recommendation that again is something that's not necessarily my cup of tea but I know a lot of people did enjoy it and I think it fits is A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone. If you're looking for a side of erotica with your dark academia this would be the book to check out. It has a lot of queer characters. It's very kinky so maybe check what's in it before you pick it up to make sure that it's your cup of tea but if that sounds up your alley and you're looking for queer dark academia vibes plus erotica this might be your thing. All of the previous titles were for adult audiences but my next books are not. I have three YA titles to recommend and one middle grade. Also apologies I don't know how much of this background noise is showing up. I'm gonna mess with the audio and try to get it out but like I think we have new neighbors that moved in upstairs and it's a little bit noisy. First up for a classic, we have A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Oh my gosh, I read these when I was in college and absolutely adored them. Like maybe should have been my first sign that I wasn't straight, but no, that didn't occur to me. So these are historical portal fantasies set in an all girls boarding school and they're definitely very queer. They definitely have dark academia vibes, but like Victorian girls school dark academia vibes. So a little bit of a different take on what we're talking about. I love these. I really need to go back and reread them at some point because it's been years since I've picked them up, but they were a big deal for me back in the day. Then for another one that is super controversial, we have A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. Listen, I loved this. There were plenty of people who hated it. It is quite dark and it is very melodramatic. It is a sapphic dark academia story set at a boarding school with this really dark and twisted relationship between these two girls and an ending that is controversial. I really liked the ending. It totally worked for me. I was definitely a fan of the book, but it, it gets twisted and melodramatic. The author is a trans woman, so if you're looking for that kind of representation in the books you're reading, this might be one to pick up. My final YA recommendation is a dark academia murder mystery with an unreliable narrator. This is People Like Us by Dana Melly. I feel like this really flew under the radar when it came out, but I loved it. It's set at an all-girls boarding school, there's been a murder, and we have a bisexual main character, there's a lot of toxic relationships. It, it was... A really good time. So if you're looking for that kind of a YA sapphic dark academia vibe, this might be one to check out. My final recommendation is a middle grade book that feels like upper middle grade and I feel like kind of skirts the dark academia vibe. This is maybe about as close as you're gonna get for a middle grade book and while I wouldn't say the main characters are canonically queer, the author is queer and a lot of the underlying vibes and discussions in the series are queer. So that is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chainani. This is an interesting take on fairy tales but puts it in a boarding school. It's written for a middle grade audience but it does have those kind of school dark academia type vibes for a younger audience and it's got a lot of queer conversations and undertones that again are appropriate for a younger audience. So if you haven't picked these up and you want something a little bit lighter, it might be something to try. So there you go. For all of your queer dark academia needs this fall, 11 books you could go and check out. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have any additional recommendations that you think would fit this category, queer dark academia, please leave them in the comments down below. People can check down there. And I am always looking for more recommendations because I am obviously a fan of this kind of book. So leave yours in the comments. If you like this video, it always helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.